What's going on guys, Tactical Bacon here, and thank you guys very much for checking out today's video, which is going to be kind of a departure from what we normally do. I'm going to be discussing Daisy Standalone, and why you don't see much gameplay from Daisy Standalone on my channel, and why you probably won't see very much, if any at all, in the very near future. Now I want to first start off by saying that I know that a lot of people have put these kind of videos together before where they've kind of looked back at the development process of DayZ Standalone and where it has been and where it's going or where it's not going in some, some regards. This is not going to be one of those kind of videos. I'm not going to sit here and bitch about the progress or lack thereof from this game. I've been wanting to make a video like this for quite some time now, and I think now is probably the perfect time to go ahead and do it. I would say it was probably summer of 2014 that I bought Daisy Standalone. I had watched plenty of videos from uh, Frankie on PC and Psy Syndicate about the Daisy mod, and I saw that Daisy Standalone was on sale from Steam, and I thought, hey, this is gonna have better graphics. This is the project that they're working on now as far as Daisy stuff is concerned, I thought I'm going to go ahead and give the standalone a shot. The very first time I spawned in, I spawned on the east side of Electro and I started to work my way up to Berezino because honestly I really didn't know what the hell to do. I mean, it was my first time playing Daisy. Back then I didn't have any thoughts of being a bandit or a hero or anything like that. I just wanted to explore the world and see what this game had to offer because as somebody that was coming from primarily playing like Call of Duty and Battlefield, I was really interested to see what this game had to offer. After the first 10 minutes of running north towards Berezino, I came across a group of about four or five guys, all dressed up head to toe in like full combat gear. You know, they had guns, they had motorcycle helmets, some of them had like the payday masks and stuff like that. It was really an intimidating sight to come up upon, but I realized that I didn't have any kind of gear on me at the time, so I didn't really have much to lose. They stopped me and asked where I was going. I answered all of their questions willingly and correctly, and they ended up killing me. They didn't really seem like mentally stable or anything like that. I can't really describe how they were acting. It was definitely a interesting first experience to have in this game. After I respawned, I ended up in Berezino, which is where where I wanted to be in the first place. I went around the town looking for loot and I came upon a few people. One of those people uh, was a guy named Loves the Spooge and I went on to game with him uh, on Daisy Standalone for the next, I wanna say a year and a half to two years. We gamed on the mod together. He's been in videos of mine that came out a while back. We met a few other people here and there and that's kinda how it all got started. But after playing Daisy Standalone for about six to eight months, it was time to try out the mod because I had not tried out the mod. All the videos that I had watched before I purchased the standalone was about the mod and to be honest with you, I was kind of getting bored with the standalone. I mean, you basically spawn in, you loot, get geared up, and then you go PvP, and back then it was mostly PvP and Berezino, and then you die and basically wash, rinse, repeat. The process kinda got old after a while. So I bought the mod and I spent my first week to week and a half on the mod, and then ever since then I have not looked back at Standalone. I mean, I've gone back and I've played it here and there a couple of times. Uh, I like to go back and check out any kind of updates when they do put out their updates, but I just have not been impressed with the progress that the Daisy Standalone has made because when you kind of compare it to the mod, yeah, the Daisy Standalone has better graphics. Some would say that it's better optimized. I really don't think that it is though, but it's it's all just a matter of opinion, I suppose. The point is that the Daisy mod grabbed my attention and kept my attention a lot longer than the Daisy standalone has ever and probably will ever do. Daisy standalone has not come out with a big update in quite a while, and every time that I look at some of their updates, 
I just kind of sit back and I laugh. It didn't make any sense to me why they would put in things like teddy bears and dresses, as opposed to actually working on the performance of the game itself. Yes, they have made some improvements, and yes, they have made strides towards getting into beta, but standalone has been an alpha for quite a while, and it really doesn't look like there's an end in sight. I know that most of you that subscribe to the channel are here for the Daisy mod videos. I do not blame you guys one bit. A lot of the YouTubers that used to do Daisy mod videos constantly have either gone on to do different games or different like Arma 3 mods. I know that there's some people that still play the Daisy standalone religiously. I've just not been able to get back into it since I started playing the mod. And at this point, who's really hyped about a Daisy standalone going into beta? Yes, I'm sure that there's a group of people out there that would love for Daisy standalone to go into beta, but quite frankly, it doesn't really make too much of a difference because, I mean, you can look at different Arma 3 mods and you can basically get the same experience out of a mod like Exile that you can get out of Daisy standalone. Yes, I understand that Arma 3 Exile probably isn't as in depth with the survival aspects as Daisy standalone is. But to me, Daisy Standalone has gone so far with the realism of the survival aspect of the game that it just doesn't feel like a video game anymore. And it, it just becomes too much. And like I said, it just takes the fun out of the game being an actual game. When I first bought the Daisy Standalone, like I said a couple of years ago, it was you spawn in, you loot, you get geared up, and you meet your buddies for PvP, and then you die. And then wash, rinse, repeat. With the Daisy mod, it's a little bit different. When you spawn in, you have different things that you can go do. You can go loot a couple of barracks, you can go sell those, make some money, buy your loadout or whatever, go do missions, kill some players. As far as actual content, as far as the things that you can actually do in the game, the Daisy mod has so much more to offer, in my opinion, than the Daisy standalone does. And unfortunately, that I think the Daisy standalone ever will. Once again, yes, I know that eventually the game is going to go into beta and then eventually it's going to be finished, but by then Arma 4 will probably be out and there will probably be some modder that does something in Arma 4 that tops Daisy. So in conclusion, all I can really say is this. Daisy standalone, to me at least, has been dead for quite some time. One of the big reasons that I don't upload any kind of Daisy standalone videos is because I don't really feel like making videos about a game or making an entire season about a game that I do not fully support. If I don't like playing something, if I don't get some kind of enjoyment out of playing the video game, then I'm not going to make a video on it and upload it to this channel and suggest that you guys go check it out because then that would be lying to you. And while those die-hard fans of Daisy standalone sit around and wait for the next patch to come out in another year and a half or so or whenever the fuck they plan on putting out that next patch, people like me that continue to play the mod to this very day will continue to get the same experience if not better experience than we've gotten in years before. Anyways guys, it's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know, like I said earlier, it's kind of a departure from what I normally do on this channel, but you know, I gotta kinda switch it up every once in a while. Um, but check back Monday for a new video. Thank you guys very much for checking out this one. Leave a like if you liked it. Let me know what you guys think. If you like Daisy Standalone, what do you guys think? You know, de defend the game if you must. And I will catch you guys in the next one.